Hello, this is Dominique. I just received the box from Rosa, Rosa Kelly. So we made a swap uh, this month and she has received mine today, but I don't think she's in town so she won't be uh, posting that video quite yet. So you have to check her uh, videos and check uh, what I sent her. But uh, here I just got hers. I just opened the box but I didn't look inside so I'm really excited. And so we're going to check that out together. Of course, she sent a lot of goodies in there, like she always does, like that's what I did too. I really hope you like what I made for you. I enjoyed making it so much. Thank you for doing the swap with me. Big hugs, Rosa. Cute card. I'm going to keep that for sure. That's a good memorabilia <laughs> to put in an album maybe some sometime. Look at all what she sent me. Whoa. So many goodies. So what is this? Oh, these are stamps that you can color. I like that stamping because I don't know do much dyes but this could be something that I could get into these are clear stamps really like that and I have the clear thing that you can just stick them underneath and then uh, just go in and you can see exactly where you're doing it those are really nice I like the butterflies and the, the flowers this I would really really use so now I need to color a little bit I guess <laughs> thank you those are so cute look at this so you have this stamp that's coordinating with the uh, the dye so that's nice so we've got the little flowers here and the bumblebee and the ladybug then here you have this I really like those I like that the bird is not in the cage because usually I don't put anything that has the bird in the cage it has to be out of the cage I don't want birds to be in cages so <laughs> and then you got the little cage here and the bird here as a dye so that's cute Thank you so much. And these flowers, yeah, I was just out of that. I think I had one left. And these are the ones that I buy uh, when I make um, uh, the um, albums with uh, either the Summer Splash from Kaiser Craft, which I've this color. And also I have done with the uh, Boho Vibes. This is the color that I need to go. And I'm still making some pro projects with those. So this will be really handy. And these, yeah, I had some of those, and I still have a couple, but I'm getting low of those, so that's really handy. Thank you so much. And there's still much more in there. Look at this. I sent her some goodies, too, so... And those the goodies I sent her were, were handmade, so I can't wait to see if she likes them. Oh, brads. I like brads. Those are fun, because those are the little brads that you can stick... You have the small and the large ones from Tim Holtz, and you can stick whatever sticker you want. They're all These are all stickers. So that's fun because I use <laughs> I use a lot of brads or I could use that as uh, the you know the circles that I make with the envelope page or things like that when I do the uh, the big pouch I have this thing that I twist around so this would be really handy maybe the big on the top and the small one just to tuck under yeah that's really nice thank you more clear stamps congratulations you're invited thank you save the date for wedding album I just made one. You're going to see that uh, wedding album pretty soon when I'm going to post that. I just made the video uh, this morning. So you're going to see that it's a huge album. So this would have been nice to put in it. And oh yeah, I had this. Is that the stretch one? I have the stretchy one. So if this one is not the stretchy one, it would be nice to have them separate. And then, oh yeah, it's just the one line. It's perfect because I have the stretchy one that's this wide. So if I need just the one line, I got it right here. I don't need to, to cut the one I have uh, that I, this wide. So, oh, thank you so much. This is perfect for baby albums. So it's going to be perfect. Thank you, thank you. So here I have the album. Ooh, can't wait to see what she made. This is so exciting. <laughs> I've been talking to her about doing this last, I think it was October or November. And now I get to see what she made. Mm -hmm. <gasps> look at this! Whoa, this is really nice. Andre, look at this. It's nice. Oh, this is nice here. Look at this. Oh, I like the pink. And uh, this is vintage. Like, I picked vintage. I didn't know she was going to make me vintage or shabby. Maybe it's a little bit of both. I can see a lot of, of uh, lace in there, so it's probably shabby as well. But I like the vintage with the shabby, which is really nice. Nice cluster of flowers here. This is wooden pieces. And this I have in the ivory, so I really like the white. Maybe I should get some of the white. Sometimes I have white base paper, and I don't use it because it's ivory, but I should get some white for sure. And this is a frame probably, yeah, you can stick something, like put a photo behind here. So it's 
open on the top and love nice you probably got that at uh, Michael's and this is the back same paper it's got one two three three uh, signatures that's uh, the thing that we needed to do so look at this Ooh. so here you can put the photo like the one the best photo that you want to keep um, and then you got some cute flowers this is fabric flowers and this she puts this uh, trim here on top of the lace which is really nice to have the superposition there nice paper here and here again so we have the the white or maybe ivory but still it looks like white on the dark and she, here she has the black on the on the clear paper which is really nice so this is magnetized goes like this photo here photo here and then oh, close this back opens like this photo here photo here and it has a pocket right here so she puts some lace here and you have this card where you can put two photos in there nice very nice I like the black lace like I'm always looking for black lace so I got lots there well I won't be using it on a project but still so this was uh, one of the uh, criterias in our or criteria I don't think there's an S there every time I, I write criteria they put a mistake in my my uh, mistake uh, on uh, orth orthograph you say so uh, criteria we have to have a little journal that uh, you can remove so she made this little box not a box but is a, a very big uh, pocket here and here she's got this here oh it's a little journal like this like junk journal kind of I don't know if I put some doilies in hers. I don't remember. So this is nice. She tea dyed this. I can see. So I can write little things there. Little tickets. Hers I just made like regular paper with this. <laughs> she has this. I, I knew she was going to put this because I know she likes it. She put the, she alternated the, the ivory with the white, uh, the black I mean. Uh, but I, I put some too. I put this, I think it's the same. <laughs> Very similar. So here's a cute little, this is made with a bag, paper bag, so you can open, you have two little envelopes there to put something in there, tickets, whatever. So this here, nice doily. And all this, that's the last page. I did two, uh, like half, I have two signatures in there, so I did like one, half of one signature and four halves. That's two signatures. So that's fun, I wonder what it says, but I'm not going to read it for you. <laughs> There you go, that's nice. Next page. So here again a cluster, you can put a nice picture here. Those look like tickets. Would have been nice to put to, the, to use those as um, little tickets for embellishments or tuck spots. So this opens like this. You can put a uh, journaling. I would put journaling here, I think. If I have a few photos that can fit in here, then there, there's a lot to say, so I would use this page for that. So see all the journal here, that's nice. And again, the same here. They're all the same, so I'm not going to open it. I love this one with the bling here. Look at this. What is this? An envelope that you made? I wonder. Um, let me check. Oh, there's got a velcro here. So it's a bag. Nice envelope. Put stuff in there for sure. Can journal here. That's nice. And this opens here like this, and opens again here journal here, journal spot right here, and I can put a couple more photos in there for sure, and this stays here, so the book, I uh, mean the envelope when it goes in the pocket, it holds everything closed, I do that very often too, and here this one, so I like the, the um, binding, whatever, okay, here we have this here, pocket, no, okay, the pocket, insertions like that was my thing I wanted her to do like not just the one paper but uh, this is from uh, graphic 45 here this paper I recognize pretty sure so it opens again here a little booklet here and it opens that like this too and like this too so I think it's an accordion it is so you see the big spread here right here accordion very nice paper really like the paper And it goes here, 
right here. So here I have a pocket here, and this opens here. Open here, and there's a one-page pocket here, so I can put something in there. If I go like this. Yep, goes all the way in there. Oh, it's a belly band. Look at that. So it's a belly band. It goes all the way through, and then she's got these flaps on top of it. And here you can do journaling because you've got the line. So yeah, I would put a photo here and do the journaling here. I wonder what the paper collection she used for that. So that's a big belly. I like making belly bands with the something on top, not just the the band there. And this is the last one. You put a photo here. And I love this ribbon here or a trim here. It's got like it's kind of dark um, dark gray, like charcoal. It's not black. And it's glittery. I don't know if you can see it. And a nice butterfly. So there we go. Look at this. Really cute. I like the style. I like I like those wooden parts here. So that was her book. So thank you so much, Rosa. I'm gonna keep this for myself, of course. Like, I don't have a book for myself. I have this big book I made uh, for our 40th uh, 30th anniversary, my husband and I, when we renewed our wedding vows. But it was nothing like the interactions. It was just the book, the one booklet in each page with all the layout around it. It was interactive, but still. So uh, maybe I'll be using that for our uh, renewal. Probably do that, because there's uh, red, because the flower girls had the red, so this would really fit. So I'm going to use that for that. So thank you so much, Rosa. And I uh, hope you like my, my album, and I can't wait to see uh, you posting it and then seeing what you, what you think of it. So hopefully you'll be really, really happy about what I made. So thank you so much, and looking forward maybe a couple years from now to make another one with you. So thank you, and I hope you guys liked it. If you did, you can click on the thumbs up button. And also don't forget to go check her channel, because she does a lot of stuff. Like almost every day she has something posted she does uh, those hops and then swaps and then uh, all sorts of things so you can go and participate in her contest and all that and check her tutorials she has lots of tutorials as well so you can learn so much from her so i hope you liked it and then uh, until next time well happy scrapping thank you for watching bye bye